Good morning, sir. You ready to get up? Let me get your feet up. How are you doing today? Okay. Good morning. <laughs> I remember uh, always looking at my dad's arms like when I was like eight, nine, ten years old. He had arms like Popeye. He was a tugboat captain, and I so admired his physique. And now it's, it's a different story, you know? And that's just the way it is. So my dad had a stroke, and now he can't get around, he can't walk. And he needs me to help him out. And my son Luke and I have been doing it. And uh, I don't do anything, anything for him. I can give you a really good mohawk. <laughs> you look like a punk rocker. There's a definite role reversal that happens. I have to wake him up in the morning and uh, take care of him and groom him and shave him and shower him. It's, it's actually an honor to do that for your father because he did it for me when I was a kid. My dad's got the greatest face. His squishy face is just amazing. He's sort of thin skinned and I don't want to cut it at all. So I got to be careful with that, with that face. Like he'll just say, do this, do that. You got to make sure that you shave my neck down. You got to do my, my lips up. You know, he was really particular about his sideburns. That's where your sideburns start? Okay. I'm not going to touch your sideburns. OK, good. OK? How am I doing so far, Dad? OK. You know, it takes me like a half an hour to shave my father, because I have to be so careful. Can't be without it either. OK, I will, I will, I will, I will. Oh, there we go. OK, good. I love that face. Hi. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm one of the lucky ones. A lot of, my, a lot of my, my friends my age do not have their dads. And I still have my dad. He always says to me, he, he looks up at me after I pour love on him for the whole day. And he says, I don't know what I did to deserve you. And I say, Dad, I got you. I got you, Dad. <laughs>